Should I say ring a ding ding a ling? No, don't say it. <laughs> Ladies and germs, welcome to a brand new season of Big Brother Lowdown. And of course, in case you didn't notice, this is no longer BB Niger, but it's mm -hmm. now BB Titans. Yes, the Giants are officially here to take over your TV screens. And I am so excited for this season because we've got two powerhouses, Nigeria and South Africa. So you know the drama is going to be mm, double Definitely. of everything. And judging from last uh, last night's uh, opening act, I, can, I believe all... All the hype that we all built up for this particular season it's gonna be worth it oh, because definitely. uh housemates look good but i don't know what we did to them as a country who <sighs> picked the nigerian housemates please whoever selected those nigerian housemates uh, we need to we need to have a talk a conversation nothing serious just we'll just sit down have to you know maybe a little beating one or two things and we'll be all right you need why? to be wiped with the cord because <laughs> I, I, I don't understand i mean we're finally on the world stage Look. like what's b the best of each country supposed to come together i'm not saying anyone is less than the yeah, other but true, it kind of seems skewed in a bit so without further ado, let's dive into the housemates breakdown yes first up on our list is kosi <laughs> beautiful <laughs> tall you know glass of Just milk say, chocolate James brown is part of bbr titan stop it stop it <laughs> I, mean, I don't see the resemblance i don't see it i don't see i, I don't understand no i don't see it but kosi is you know she's energetic She's here for a Nigerian man, even though I'm confused because she said she was single, but then she also said that she was dating an evil man. Yeah, so I don't like... get that part. A lot of social media or social networks, uh, a lot of handles tweeted that she's single and ready to mingle. I think even the official uh, yeah. Big Brother uh, handle, but she said she's dating an evil man. So, well, I mean, maybe she's trying to give us like a little polyamory thing like Hermes gave us yeah. in Bibi Naja last season, but let's see how it goes. I wouldn't put it past her to have been the one who, you know, wasn't sure because I mean, when they asked her how serious she is about that relationship or if she's going to take it seriously in the house even she wasn't you know she quite was sure yeah what she's going to do up next on the list is our first Nigerian in the house and that is Yemi I'm not going to call that last name because honestly Yemi Craig. forget the Cokes or Craigs or Yemi just stick with that I promise you it will fly and he's an Ekiti man I'm from Ekiti State so go Yemi Rep some people's well. name is why they don't usually blow what no. do you mean by Craig's? <laughs> and the X. He spent half mentioned. of his introduction explaining uh, Craig's and you put the... I mean, come on, there. man. Why not pick a better name? Thought to think about that. But at least that guy is fine. Yes, he is. Yeah. He represented us well. You know, I have... He's given us that Yoruba demon energy that we so love. So I have hopes for him in the house. Also. And uh, according to your tweet, actually, the first three housemates were the elite. We had Kosi, Yemi, and we had... Juicy J, baby! Thickums, that's what he is. Yeah. I mean, he, <laughs> says, he so says he's a rugby player, but I don't know y'all rugby players to be so thick. He's What's going on, man? Boy. You know that song that Kiki Palmer and Caesar did for the uh, It's Cuffin' Season? He's the one they made the song for. He's really? a big boy. I'm here for him. Honestly, I'm so excited. He's giving me like a class clown vibes. I don't know. Am I the only one getting that? I mean, I've seen a class clown, but I wouldn't call Juicy J the class clown. He seems like a pretty chill guy. Yeah, he I mean, I'm wondering, chill, I don't really know what to think about about him so far i just know he's a fresh guy a rugby player and he might be the one of the guys to do the girls dirty let's see definitely next up we have olivia now olivia is some beatrice mixed with um i, I don't know i'm seeing some fina in her though but i mean fina was more no, off i mean maybe energy, physically maybe no, physically off. No, i mean appearance wise fina. she looks just like fina in a sense i don't know it's just yeah. me probably yeah, I don't think so. But yeah, Olivia is her own woman and we're looking forward to seeing what she does. In Let's not forget house. she has a land in VGC. Yeah. <laughs> At that age, only property in and VGC. And she's 24, yeah. I'm yeah, I mean, I'm Olivia, not, I'm not, I, didn't say, I didn't say she's lying, of course. Next I mean. up, we have a sweetie after my own heart, Nalissa. She's so cute and petite and oh, I just absolutely love her. Speaking of Nalissa, she was my first crush, actually. I said first because, you know what I mean, she was replaced by Where her. Where have you seen her from before? <laughs> no, I'm saying like when the housemates started to roll in, so I wasn't happy crushing, until I saw you're Nalissa. you that fast. Anyways. Uh, well, uh, duh! I mean, what are you waiting for? I mean, it's, it's okay. and the thing is, you know the good thing about opening night? Most, more often than not, you're going to pick your faves based on how they look True. and their first impression. And now from her background video and her appearance, I, I think she's a main she, character, she, she, like she calls herself. I can, I'm definitely so. looking forward to see to see what she eventually evolves at to become. Yeah. Yes. Up next, we have Black Boy, who is 
I love his energy. He came into the house quite confident. You know, he's like, this is me. I'm going to be here. I'm going to make my mark. And he seems very friendly because, like, everyone was already talking to him and everything. So I liked him, but there's only so many times you can say the house is housing there to be funny. I mean, it stopped being funny the third time you said it's bros. Come on. No, but we, I mean, kudos to the BB, like, the BB Titans house. I love the fact that it's, you know, dull, I don't say dull tones, but like, you know, the greys, really calm Yellows. colors, as mm. opposed to like the color riot that we had in BB Nights last season. But we're not going to speak on that too much. Next up, we have Meli. Did I pronounce that right? Meli. I don't know. It's a Star Trek name. I guess we're allowed it's two to, M, you know, so Meli. Or yeah. Meli yeah. I love his face so much. He looks like he was meant for television. And I, I know he's going to give us like a lot of you know content maybe not drama shop, but content in the house which is something that we're always looking for no. Meli is just well I gotta say I didn't really take I, didn't really, I, didn't really, I mean he's a he's cool he's cool anyway, so like, let's see more about him we have Nana our first sub story of the night and I don't mean that in a bad way I'm just saying that we don't really want that, you know, whole poverty metrics thing going on. The South Africans came in. They were giving us, we're here to party. We're here to vibe. Don't come in and tell us, oh, my mama just died. And, you know, I want to win this money so I can do her burial. Like, we get it. But at the same time, it's Big Brother. Well, yeah, granted, your story is your story and your reality is your reality. Yeah, but, but I'm not quite sure that's the best card you want to keep playing, don't, don't especially play when, you on know. On international stage. Especially when we are it could work for Nigerians. our counterparts. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, we love a good underdog story. But, like, on the international space. Yeah. Next up is my first crush of the night, Ipeleng. My goodness. Mm, Ipeleng. A stunning woman. Ipeleng, the Pengaleng. So, like, actually... <laughs> Actually, stunning creature. Like she's just beautiful and has. Yeah, she's the very. She was the one that was really like, and, tall, right? Yes. The one who believes her height intimidates others, isn't uh, it? No worry, I'll be intimidated by you, baby girl. I want to even intimidate me. I want to even bring that up. Since when did it become a compliment for you to be intimidating to others? Because they kept saying it. Tell me something about yourself. Well, oh, that's why me intimidating, and that is a compliment. It's what? Like how? A, it's like a power move, taking back the thing that people say is negative about you and making it something that is positive for you. By the time everyone says it, it becomes boring and trite. The same You'll thing, like same thing with sapiosexual. Whenever it's a sapiosexual, who is not a sapiosexual? Boring. <laughs> up next, we have. Our magnificent, did you see what I did there? Abnificent, huh? Let's Marvin Gay, Marvin. There was something I saw, and I'm gonna say here Marvin is a reality TV whore. And I say that because do you know how many shows this guy has been yeah. on? He's currently on a show on a streaming platform called The Circle. He's been on America's Got, Got Talent. Talent. And some, I think he's been on The Voice too. He needs to that. chill. Maybe yeah. BB Titans would be his like final bus stop. Definitely. But I don't see him making it into top 10. Except he like bamboozles the ladies well, with his abs. I liked him like, until he did that thing with his abs again. It was cool the first <laughs> time. But the second time he did it. You know? And mm. our guy, Lawrence Maleka. And let me just put that out there. I love, love, love Lawrence. Love Lawrence. <laughs> and if you hadn't, you know, you didn't watch opening night. We have two hosts, by the Definitely. way. BB, you know, Niger's Ebuka. And BB Mzansi's Lawrence Makela. Maleka. And Maleka, sorry. And... I just love him because he's a Definitely. cutie Definitely. I think he brought mm -hmm. he brought to the show what we hadn't gotten since the time of IK. No diss to Ibuka. Ibuka is fantastic. I mean, yes. even though he was sick, he brought his he A game as always. Game. Yeah, but you see this animated, this, you know, just you changing know, like characters, being very playful. Yeah. That's what Lawrence brought to the table. And I got to admit, if we didn't know about him before, he's now on the radar. He's up next has to be, oh, sorry, my favorite housemate in BB Titans. His Already? Name, shh. Let me announce him properly. His name is Thabong. He's a cute. Oh, Nasty C and Pharrell Williams. No. Well, yeah, because Nasty C <laughs> is kind of cute too. Yeah. But yeah, like, that's my man. And well, I would stick beside I, him. I the gotta whole admit, season. I was feeling his swag. I, I, well I am feeling his swag, and of course, I like what he brings to the table. He's and of course, well just like you, he's easily a fave as well. Yeah, I mean, I absolutely love him. Up next, we have who the streets are saying is the T batch of this season, JP Baby. Our second sub story of the uh Oh, she didn't really give us a sub story. Night. She gave us more like, you know, Lagos girl. I don't do broke niggas. I don't do girls because all I have are guy friends, and you know, yeah, da, 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 da. baby girl. Come on. How do you think your girlfriend? I'm not impressed. I'm just gonna put feel... that out there. I am absolutely not impressed. I mean, she kept on talking about how she's looking for a man in the house. 
She'll find her. I mean, and, and also there's, there's all that, for her. Yemi all for that, her. uh, all that energy. I'm thinking this is like doing part two, and I'm like, and this is like three, I'd be four or five Nigerian housemates Do in. It, at this it. point, I got really pissed off that okay, this is the grand stage. This is these are like this is the gladiators, the titans. Who are these people you brought for us in this BBD BB, this thing? They Who are these people? They will surprise you. Uh, up next, we have another, you know, cutie pie that I absolutely love. Yaya. Okay. Yeah. Our swimsuit baby, who yeah. I look forward to seeing you at the pool party, by the way. I'm excited for you. Honey. I got to confess, uh, when I when this whole opening night started, I was kind of worried that, you know, we won't get enough yash. But uh, as I saw Yaya, <laughs> everything turned around. Finally, some action. Even Pere, last, uh, I mean, last season, yeah, he predicted that he this said, season will be, a, you know, a lot of big deals. Where are the big deals? Yaya is a big deal, baby. I think, that's what I'm saying. She's like the very first one we got. And All right. Next up, we have a boo-boo. Not to be mistaken with a e buka. <laughs> e boo-boo is, I feel like he's got a lot of things to offer us you know he's a bit calm he said he was looking for love in the house good luck with that by the way definitely and a lot of people are making a reference to the fact that he's an albino which is a uh, really good in terms yeah, of like inclusivity representation. and representation of you know different uh, kinds of people and whatnot and i think it's great to see uh the new dynamic he's gonna add to the show yeah next up we have luke and i don't know about 70 years old man <laughs> Because, come on. I don't know. He's giving intellectual who will probably become annoying at a point. Intellectual how? I don't yeah, know. because you know the type that goes, oh, I know this thing. You should listen to me because I know it's right. Like and Michael he said, he's the big brother in big brother. Ooh, true, 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 true. Next up, we have Jenny O. Jenny O. I don't know. I didn't really have a strong impression of her. Because like I know I saw her come into the house, but then I can't remember anything about her anymore. So... Right, Jenny, oh, I don't know. Like you said, I didn't really get... I didn't really get it. I didn't really get it. Anything. But let's see. I'm not quite sure about... You know, when you have accent, it already puts you in a particular light. And Nigerians yeah. are going to be waiting to, you know, criticize everything you do. So let's see how that goes. That's how it goes. Next up, we have Tsat... How do I pronounce that? Tsatsi. 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 I'm sorry we're butchering your name, but... Sati is a woman after my own heart because she's a brainiac. Yeah. Did you hear her say she was studying, Definitely. you know, petrochemical, I think? Yeah. And then she wanted to mix it with something else. A woman after my own heart. Definitely. You go, girl. I, I can say I love you. Impress us love with your me. big, beautiful brain. And her legs were legging. They I mean, you should see how she looked. And her dress was really beautiful. Also, I'm looking forward to Saturday party. Did you see the little dancey dance she did on stage? Yeah. I'm excited for I that one. I am definitely excited. Yes. Next up, we have, uh, what's his name again? He had a real long name, but he's... He's going by Kanaga Jr. Mm. And I don't know. He's he's kind of sweet. I like his energy. He's kind of cute. He danced a lot on stage. He did. You know, he was giving a bit of baby Brie. And I really like that. And then, I don't know. I saw some groovy and baby Brie in the yeah. mix. I don't know. Just like, kind of like, the whole branding and whatnot. I feel like along the line, he's going to come out and tell us that he's actually an upcoming artist. I'm waiting for that. And so. I like how he was a sharpshooter. I mean, this is way after the introduction, but I saw him making some moves on somebody we've not called just yet. But my guy said it that anything he sees, he, he goes for it. Mm, oh, okay, bomb. Eh, go the clue, eh? What was that? Is that Ibu? No, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we have another sob story. Justin. Now. Justin? Justin. I mean, sob story, how? He told us that he was from a poor part of East London. Oh, I thought you meant like, you know, the fact that he Justin wasn't like Bieber. he wasn't like cool and stuff. But he oh, seemed no, pretty he, cool he, to me. He seems like a cool guy. I yeah. mean, I was feeling his hair. It's that kind of hair I that wasn't. I would love. It's long. It looks soft and luscious and everything. Remind me of Joe from uh, BB Niger, but carry on, carry mm -hmm. on. But Justin is same thing too. I'm not really feeling, you know, lots from him. He wasn't giving. He wasn't giving. He wasn't giving. But hopefully he'll give before the end of the competition so he doesn't go home. You know what time. they say? Gotta give something something's gotta give yes and now we've come to the last housemate who finally was a body for the nigerian <laughs> side Woo! yvonne we scored our first goal with Actually, yvonne i gotta admit they saved I was, the best for last definitely the same way they brought like the no precious shade. guy no as the first the guy i think nigerian. the first guy was yemi red the first guy was the first and the last lady was the first but then again the victory on Yemi's side is more clear cut because it's between him and the rest of the housemates. But you can't say Yvonne is outrightly more beautiful than Nalissa. No. Or Ntati as well. No, no, yeah. No, no, so, no. but granted, Yvonne is. Each, each woman is beautiful in her own way. Definitely. They all have their own, you know. 
personalities and everything. And that's one thing I love about this selection, even though they did Nigerians Dirty. But every single housemate, you cannot confuse anybody. Definitely. Everyone shines in one particular way. They're all standing out in one particular way. And I'm so excited for this. And I'm not even going to mince words. Yvonne is already my fave. And I know you might be thinking, Velvet, you swaggering bastion of lascivious propensity. All that glitters is not gold. I don't care. (laughs) <laughs> That's my, that, that is my babe right there. It's, Although I fear Maria syndrome might get in. Back. Yeah, because her fan base is already giving toxic. Yeah, like, I, mean, I saw some things on Twitter, but... I don't, I don't know, know about that, but don't please know. don't be, be a beauty. I love beauty, but I don't want a situation whereby she is the freshest girl. She gets with like maybe Yemi or Juicy J or Kanaga. And then before you know it, she's defending territory with... Um, you know, violence and all that. I don't. I really want, don't want a situation whereby she just gets into a fight or something really nasty with other housemates so early, you know? All right, so in a nutshell, we have a lot of titans in the house already. And of course, uh, so far from the roster of fine boys and fine girls that we have uh, so far, it's kinda look, it kind of looks like this season is going to be explosive. But of course, as always, some stand out other than others, right? Or yep. rather, more than others. Yep. So in my opinion, I think uh, for me, who I can identify as a favorite, for Top now, contenders. anyway, but of course, I know it's too early to it's too early to judge. Yeah. But off the top of my tongue, I gotta say, Yemi, mm-hmm. Yvonne, okay. Mm, duh, okay. Thabang, and I'm kind of well, caught between Tatsi and Yaya, but let's just leave it at those three: Yemi, Yvonne, and Thabang. Mm, for me, obviously, Thabang is number one. Yeah. My baby's gonna be good. Then, coincidentally, Yaya too. She's giving me this mm, energy. I like this- that. Friendly and she person. thick as hell. I mean, who doesn't love a thick <laughs> Friendly girl? Friendly personality that I absolutely love. And then Satsi is also, you know, the whole intellectual thing got me going. Yeah. Honorable mentions, I kind of like Juicy J. I don't know. He just seems like this fun-loving boy that would just cause trouble without meaning to. Yeah. But I like Juicy J too. So hopefully we're going to get an explosive week with lots of highlights. Hopefully hopefully some ships. Let's see if Kosi eventually moves on to Yemi like, you know, we thought, we think. We, like we think. Let's see if Ayaya wows with that bikini body because I mean, that's it's, something it's to look forward to. Wow us, Let's see if I'm anyone sure. fights. Because I mean, although they seem way more cohesive because mm-hmm. you, would, you, would, you would have expected more. My money's more. on Olivia for the first fight. Olivia, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, you would expect mm-hmm. more toxicity because I mean, they all they're kind of strange in terms of culture and all that. But it seemed way more close knit than I anticipated from the previous episode. Let's see yeah. how it goes. Let's see how it goes. And not to worry, we are gonna be here giving you all the deets on BB Titans Lowdown. Everything happening, you are definitely sure that we're gonna catch it and talk about it here. And I will be here with you know. I'm, I'm, my personality is really calm this season. I'm not a savage person. Please. And you never know, we might be joined by some more villains right here to make sure we can bring you all the details that it, you need. Angels, angels. What, what? Not savage this season, okay? Angels. I, I really thought I could do without it, but guys, ring-a-ding, ding-a-ling. Oh my God.